Hello, and thanks for joining us once again in the Walker Emissions Control Lab. We've been reviewing each of the 13 steps in a comprehensive emissions diagnosis. And now we've come to step number 13. To help us with this step is Tim Hill of our talented emissions control team at Tenneco & Walker. Tim, the 13th step is to check for reflash updates for the powertrain control module. I know this will only be used in very specific cases, so please tell us more. That's right, Deneen. In a relatively small number of cases, vehicle manufacturers become aware of potential issues related to the software controlling a variety of engine-related characteristics, including the production of emissions and the sensitivity of the vehicle's onboard diagnostics. In some of these cases, they will revise or update the software to eliminate known issues, such as increased emissions under certain operating conditions. To correct these issues, they will reflash or reprogram the engine's powertrain control module, much the same way you would update software on your computer at home or at work. If you're facing a difficult emissions problem, you can save a lot of time and effort by first checking with the vehicle manufacturer or dealer to see if a reflash is available for this specific application. So in some cases, the software is at fault rather than any mechanical issue? That's right. As an example, the automaker might discover that the range of operating parameters originally programmed into the PCM for new vehicles were not always right after the vehicle had accumulated some miles, thereby causing unnecessary check engine lights or other problems. In these cases, a programming fix could correct the problem. Okay, thanks Tim. Well, that was step number 13, the final step in a comprehensive diagnosis of vehicle emissions problems. I hope you found these brief segments valuable. Please check back on a regular basis as we add to the Walker Library of Emissions Control training programs. We have more great segments to come. Thanks for watching.